guys i'm legit frustrated like i'm frustrated from walking all around the streets of oweri to the overcrowded and overflowing banks to asking for the prices of all the mattresses in oweri <laughs> to buying the worst abacha ever to eating something nice to loosening my overaged hair, washing it and struggling with my low budget natural hair. <laughs> this is one funny, annoying but interesting vlog. Welcome. Hey people, what's poppin'? Kila shale, again in name Let's go there. Okay, wonderful people, beautiful people. It is your favorite Achalugo, your favorite Asamwa, Deragizel, on the microphone. If you are new to my channel, I am Chideragizel, a Nigerian lifestyle vlogger living in Oweri, Imo State. You guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me drop this powder because I don't need it. But I actually need these scissors because this hair is going down today in the name of Jesus. Amen. It has to go down. I am tired. I am tired. I say I'm tired. I don't know why the hair is still been on my head. Honestly, I'm like I'm sincerely tired. I don't know why I've been keeping it, but I'm going to losing it today. I just decided to start this vlog here right now. And I'll see you guys later. Satan, shame on to you all. Power belongs to Jesus. Says I shame unto you all. Power belongs to the Lord. Says I shame unto you all. Power belongs to Jesus. Says I shame unto you all. Power belongs to my God. Losing your hair by yourself has got to be one of the hardest things ever. Like it's so hard, it's so frustrating. You just have to sit down one place and finish it at once. And I feel kinky is so hard to lose in. I don't know if it's only me. Identify in the comment section if you are a lady or a guy and you have ever made kinky and if it was hard for you to lose in. It's so hard to lose in. It's so exciting to make it, but losing it is a problem. And on this day, I was just I just felt so lazy to go take my bath and go to the salon like it was just a big deal for me so i don't know i spent a lot of hours losing this hair sha but anyways i was victorious at last i later finished it in the evening bought potato and plantain that will go with smoked fish sauce and this is fresh pineapple juice so you guys come and join me So you guys, I'm done taking my baths and I'm in my sister's room because I came to see some organic things for my hair. Yeah, I'm not good at having all those things. Like, I just can't wait for the next one month or two months to go and relax my hair. I'll just go to my hairstylist place, Auntie Jane's place, and I relax the kind of hair because I'm tired. Like. What is this? Even if it's short and I relax it, I know it's going to grow. That's how my hair is. So this is um Kansu Shea Butter Living Conditioning. It's almost finished. I'm going to use it then. This is Jamaican black castor oil. <laughs> when I see people mentioning that this taste, I'll just be looking at them in amazement. Make I shall use that for my hair, made the hair for comb. You guys, I don't know if you guys saw how this how long this hair was when I was losing it. And just look at how it is now. So so annoying. That's the problem I have with this stupid natural hair routine. Sorry if you're a natural hair addict and I'm calling you stupid, but to me it's unnecessary stress. God bless the person that created relaxers. Because I wonder, hmm. I'll be this thing castor oil. She just is I'll be you people that use castor oil, how does it smell? What on me see? I only see soya bean. I'll be this soya bean oil. 
then leave in conditioning. Maybe we shall use that. Mm. I don't think that one is enough. Ay. So you guys, I'll see you people later. So you guys, I don't know why I'm all vibed up. I'm supposed to be crying. My face is supposed to be like this. Because I'm actually going to spend a lot of money right now. I'm so, so angry. I'm already to go get mattress. And <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. When I was living in Abuja, I sold my mattress and I collected the money. If I had known, the day I got to the east, I would have bought a new mattress that period I got to the east. But then I was my sister's place. There was no space and all of that. So I didn't get a mattress. And I think we went to check for the prices of mattress sometime two months ago or so. And you guys, it's already so, so expensive. And this is like two months later. So it's even be more expensive than it was two months ago. I don't even know where to start from. Nowadays, I will say that people are sleeping on this flat mattress. I'm even talking too much. I just want to carry you guys along. I want you guys to follow me and see how much I'll get the mattress. Meanwhile, who is noticing my glow? Like, who can see how fine I am? Oh my God. I look so cute this morning. I look so, so cute. Oh my God. Is this me? Is this me? This can't be me. Peep that glow. Peep that glow. This can't be me. This has got to be someone else. She there out to have a You guys, let's go. Let's go. This is how we here. guys i don't know if you can hear me but i actually just left the branch of my bank along this um Wedra road yeah i know you guys can hear me i just left the bank branch because <laughs> i don't know if you guys could see that population there the population is mad i can't wait i was saying i'll wait i'll use this bank today but i can't wait let me go to another branch if i don't go to that branch and the crowd is much i can stay there but i don't even like this Wedra road it's too it's too open the sun is so much at least if it's under branch there may be shades or something so i'm living there i'm going to under bank branch to see if i can enter into the bank because i won't be able to buy the mattress if i'm not able to get my money so you guys i just saw one vita from depot and i actually want to ask for the prices of things um sorry is this from four by six please how much is it This one is 4 by 6 right? This one is 1. Mm. This one is 62. Yay! 74. The orthopedic one. Jesus. Okay, so you guys, I just left the first depot. I don't know if you guys could hear what I was saying, but... <laughs> Hey, the prices are mad though. Let me go to my bank first. There's a depot close to my bank. So I will go to that one and compare the prices of things in this one with that one. Then I'll get at any place that's going to be cheaper. I'm even confused. I don't know the size to buy now because it's so expensive. So I'm currently at Mbari Street. Yeah, Mbari Street. Um, the street opposite over prisons. Yeah, I'm at Mbari Street. I don't know if you guys can see. That's prisons over there. I'm going to the bank here. When I'm done, there's one depot around here. So I'll go to that depot. You guys, I'm legit frustrated. Like, I'm fortated in Jennifer's voice. Jennifer in Jennifer's diary. I'm fortated. Like, I've been in this bank for over two hours now. And let's just say I didn't achieve anything. I was not able to get any money. They said they're having a sort of issue. So I'm not buying the bed. I just went to the bus and be going home now because I'm tired. So you guys, in my anger and frustration, I saw this abacha woman just in front of me and I was like, yo, let me shall buy abacha and eat because I had not yet eaten breakfast that day and it was already afternoon, probably around 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. First of all, the abacha said I was not looking so tidy, but I had already called her and she had already brought down her food 
so there was no way i'd tell her to go i don't know i just always feel somehow like i've already called you there's no need of telling you to go so i was like okay let me just close my eye and buy the abacha i should have bought it i got home i don't know whether it was too much onions i don't know there was just something off about this abacha even the fish i tried eating it my nope home and so i just put the whole thing into the dustbin and wasted my 400 naira so annoying because the fish was expensive anyways i was lucky to have branched to everyday supermarket on my way back that day so it was just that happy yogurt that i bought that too so you guys this is a week after <laughs> long story like i later got my money a day after i went to search for the mattress and all of that but i had some other things to do i should have kept on procrastinating i'll go tomorrow i'll go tomorrow i'll go tomorrow and here is me like 10 days later it's not just one week like 10 days later anyways i'm on my way to the foam depot now but first of all i'm going to stop by the road to get some tailoring materials and from there i'll go by the foam and bring it back home so let's just be going So you guys, this is the Vita Foam Depot, directly opposite Oweri Prisons. Yeah, so I came to this place because the place is really, really massive, like very, very big. They have a lot of variety and all of that. So that was why I decided to stick to this place and I didn't go back to that place at Wedral where I priced the mattresses again. So I got a 4x6 mattress, 8 inches. So you guys, can you see this small phone? This small phone is what I paid 50,000 naira for. Ah, good. So guys, I just <laughs> I just purchased the phone. I don't know why I'm smiling. Well, I have to smile. It's not like if I cry, my money will come back into my account. The guy here, the man's um, guy, his, his apprentice, his worker, has gone to go check for drop that would take me home like i don't even know where to start from this money that i'm paying i'm still saying it as at 2020 beginning because this was the form i used in abuja when i bought it in abuja it was 25,000 naira, and now i'm buying it 50,000 naira. it's just so so unimaginable this money would have gotten me a very good bed stand and my mattress in abuja but you guys know the story now let me try get the drop and be going home I go like it, man. Oh, very formal. Then two five. Two five, Jenny. I'm the back one. I go and pull for this phone. All the chairs are empty. So you guys, I'm actually still sitting down here because that Bosimo guy that just came now, he said I should give him two five, two five to carry me home for what? Say na, I'm a brass state that they go a big what? I can't pay that amount of money. It's too much. Guys, my guys say hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I'm back home. My guys, bye bye. You guys will not, you guys will not imagine the amount of stress I went through to carry this mattress upstairs. Like, if I start saying it, you're not going to imagine. You guys, see that flower there? <laughs> I used it to do bridal trade in January. <laughs> also, that decoration, it was stay in this room. Then, can you see this blue stuff? That blue thing here. 
don't know if people can see it. That's the stuff we use for Diana's baby shower in September. I need less on the decoration as long as it's flower to stay inside here. Let me be minimizing cost. So you guys, that is going to be it for this vlog. I don't know if this vlog is going to be long enough. When I start editing it, I'm going to know. Oh, you guys tell me what you think. Nigeria is so expensive now, like it's so so expensive. I appreciate anybody living in Nigeria. Like praise them. It's nice to live in Nigeria. And I don't know, I'm just happy that I have a phone here. At least this room is not totally empty. If I were not a YouTuber, well I'm not going to lie, I'm not buy bed stand. It's because I'm a YouTuber that I'm I'm still considering buying bed stand so that my room will look good. I need a Pinterest worthy room. That's my aim. If not, I'm not going to buy any bed stand. After this was how I stayed in Abuja, no bed stand. But I'm still going to get the bed stand anyways. Not this month, but anytime I'm able to buy it. Slowly, slowly, I'll buy everything I need in my room. I've gotten this one now. This one is the most important. Then after this one, bed stand, wardrobe. Um, drawer that's easy dressing table like you see a dressing table small mirror full mirror then I'll get my decorations my lights my serene rage my flowers all of that and my duvet <laughs> one down ten months to go thank you also so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it if you like a thing or two if you like this baby girl you're seeing here do give this video a huge thumbs up please don't give it a thumbs down please it's also stressful to film this so don't give it a thumbs down it's going to be so so stressful to edit it the most stressful thing so don't give it a thumbs down and hopefully i'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video for now bye kiss kiss love you